You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm going to do the Easy Bake Pop-Tarts Snack Sticks. Now, I was going to go look just to verify. Time to verify. Uh, okay, Easy Bake, Easy Bake Pop-Tarts. Pop. Let me just do Easy Bake Pop to keep the searches down. Okay, so I did the Easy Bake Ultimate Oven, and then I did the Kellogg's. Come on, you're going to hear me in a second. Yeah, let me just get to where the picture of the box is so that you see that this is not a duplicate. All right, uh, avoid the ads. Avoid the ads. No ads. Ooh, inside the box is the dollar off look inside. Okay. Let me scan ahead. Oh, I give you a little history on the trays there. Oh, I remember that video. That probably took me six takes on those trays, if I remember correctly. Okay, where's the kit? Ooh, I just took the package out. Okay, it's right after this. Let's see what this guy has to say. All right, I am set to go finally. I know the history lesson is over. Okay, so let me just turn it, hit play, so you can see. So it's like a pack. This pack here is different than the box. So these are different snack sticks. Okay, a little cut in the back. Yes, I hear you. Okay, turn off the video. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you. And then I mentioned a little story about this set. I had bought this set on eBay maybe a month or two ago, and it was missing some of the flavors of frosting because it says fruity cookie sticks topped with colorful frosting. Yummy to dip, too. There was, listen to this, the container, the lid, the cutter, the spreader, the spoon, three sugar cookie mixes, strawberry flavored filling, blue frosting mix, purple frosting mix, and label while well, I was missing two of the frosting mixes. So I go online, I try to find it. No, try to find this set complete. No, uh, let me start opening it for you. So I had saw a listing. Uh, I don't know if you remember, I was doing all of the Todd Koopy recipes in the back. Oh, by the way, it's a very colorful box. Would you agree? Hot pink with purple in the corner. It says bake set in the top right, a little triangle. And then you get the whole Pop Tarts layout in the middle. Very nice packaging. I like this. Uh, I like this box. All right, so this was not in the box. Now look at that. Those are the exact flavors that I need for the frosting. Strawberry flavored frosting, blue frosting, purple frosting, blue frosting, and the sugar cookie mix. Lo and behold, here I'll show you before I open this kit up. I bought this listing on eBay and it was, I don't know, 50 packs of e Easy Bake Mixes. So I've sorted them all out. In the middle of this whole chaos, and there's even more here, look, strawberry, white, white piping frosting, pink piping frosting. In the middle of this chaos was this, and I didn't even realize it. It wasn't even the listing, so I was so excited. I had bought this, and then, lo and behold, these are all just like chocolate frosting, devil foods cake, yellow cake, a uh, little sprinkles, vanilla frosting, just different things. And then everything that I used in the Todd Koopy videos is right here. So I used quite a few mixes out of this box. So it was a lifesaver in more than one way. Thought you'd be interested in hearing that. That's how things happen. All right, so there's that. It just happened. It happened to work in my favor. And then everything that's in there. Your little case, your spoon, and your cutter. That's how small these are. Look how beautiful and giant they look on the box. All right, so let's just go over one more time. So you have the container lid, the cutter, spoon spreader, three sugar cookie mixes. I have one, which is okay. And then I do have other ones in the box, so. All right, so you will need margarine, Cooking spray, flour, water, mixing bowl, easy bake, baking pan, pan pusher. So I think I'm going to make it here on this side of the kitchen, of the studio, but then I'll bake it over on the easy bake side. So let me get some water. I'll tell you what, while I'm here, I'll grab another sugar cookie mix. I don't think I'm going to need it. Wait, where did it go? Didn't I see sugar cookie? Let's see, white icing. White piping, blah, 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 blah. Oh, maybe not. 
All right, I'm seeing things. Okay, regardless, I don't need it because I just need to make one pack. So I will come back now and we will start making my Pop-Tart snack sticks. All right, plan change. Now I thought, oh, I'm gonna go to the mini food side and change my mind because from the date of the mix, I wanted to show you the correct oven at the time. Now any Easy Bake oven would work. This was the oven that they would have had at the time for that mix. So let me just get this one out of the box. I've done this one many times, this oven. I don't know if it's this particular oven. I have three of these somewhere laying around. Here's all the stuff. I've showed them before, I've used them before. So I'm going to break from tradition. Well, I don't know, do I have a tradition? Okay, so here's this oven. I will show you. I won't need the warming tray, but I will get this unwound. Now remember, this one had a heating element, so no light bulbs. Okay, so let's just get that plugged in and started. Let's see. I've been having trouble with my power strip. I don't know what's going on. Let me put it in this one here. All right, so that oven should be on. And then I will use the trays and the measuring, well, I got a measuring spoon, so I'll just grab two trays. And I'll just put the component pieces back on so you get a visual of what was going on in this, in the 2000s, early 2000s. That is the warmer up there. Okay, we'll need the pan pusher later. That's all set. Now, I have washed everything, which I do every video. And the neat thing about this set, I was looking, this is where you actually cut and shape your Pop-Tarts. I was having a mental thought there because this, this got wet. I hope it's okay. It was underneath all that. So I was kind of thinking, oh boy, think about it, think about it. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm sure somewhere in all of these sets I have a sugar cookie mix. A backup. Okay, and this does, this says... Oh, it's so hard to read. It's so tiny. Three quarters of a teaspoon. Okay. So this is technically just your storage container. All right. This is all clean. This is ready. Oven is heating up. I will come back now and actually make the Easy Bake Pop-Tart Snack Sticks. Okay, so mental regrouping. I noticed, I was reading the first step. Empty contents of one sugar cookie packet in, into mixing bowl. Add tea two, tea, tea two. Add two teaspoonfuls of strawberry filling. That's three quarters of a teaspoon each. I'm like, filling? I thought that was supposed to be strawberry frosting. Did I read it wrong on the box? I'll have to go back and review the video. And if I did, I'm sorry. It should be strawberry flavored filling, which they are calling strawberry flavor islands. Now, fortunately I have two packs. I mean, what are the chances that that box I had had this very obscure mix uh, set in it with all the flavors and everything I needed? This is the one I had originally and it's, it's open slightly, but there's still plastic around it. And this is the one I showed you that was in the box. And it just, they both seem okay. We'll have to check. I'll probably never need them again. So I figured that out. We know that's my little cutter here. It doesn't fit in there. Hmm, so I probably have to cut this way? No, why did they do this? Hmm, we'll have to see. Very strange. All right, so. Empty the sugar cookie mix into the bowl. Step one. We shall see. I will give it a sniff by my camera. Now it's nice. These mixes are actually have the foil pack and then a plastic inner. Hmm. Yes. Effervescence of garage. That's what I call it. <laughs> All right. Here's the effervescence of garage. Sugar cookie mix. Okay. I always keep those. And then two of these of the strawberry. Okay, see? Not prepared. Oh no, not these. Let's get these out of the way. Don't eat them till later. Let's get these in here. Let me grab some bowls and we'll check them out. I can't say if they're both going to be good or bad. Okay, let's just cut this one open. Hmm, they actually don't smell bad. Okay, so this one looks pretty good. Let's just check this one. At this point, you know what? I'm gonna leave this intact. There's no reason, because these smell fine. 
Why mess around with something that's already good? All right, so now add two teaspoons each of the three-quarter scooper. One. Two. Yeah, you two go in there. Okay, and then I need my measuring spoon. I believe this is a teaspoon. Hmm, doesn't say. Let me grab my other one here, which I know is more accurate from another set. So that is one teaspoon. I'm pretty sure that is. Now these would have come with the oven, so you would have had them available. And that's probably why, well, let's see. I'm pretty sure that's a teaspoon. All right, so we'll check. One teaspoon. Okay, add one teaspoon of water and mix with spoon. Now, I can use a spoon or I can use what came with the original set. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, oven is heating up. So let's just see. Let's just do one teaspoon here. Come on. Okay, too tight. Who did that? I did that. That's right. Oh, this can sit down. Here we go. One teaspoon. There's still more. One teaspoon. Okay. And mix with spoon, but I am using my little spatula device, which will be good. I just got to break these up. Now it should make a dough. My guess is that these will start to maybe it change the dough pink a little when they bake. I don't know, because the box looks like it's pink dough. Probably when they bake. Again, I struggle with my hand. This mark on my hand, I don't know if you noticed that. That originally I had burned my hand on a pan. And that's the spot. It just always sticks with me like, oh, I remember that burn. It was a, I think it was a roasting pan. I was making a beef something maybe for the fam. And I touched the lid. Oh, what a disaster. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. What do you think? Now what does it say? Until dough is smooth, press dough against side of mixing bowl until it cleans together. Sprinkle a small amount of flour into the rectangle. Okay, let me, oh, I have the flour. Yeah, they show the cutter this way on, oh. Sprinkle a small amount of flour into the rectangle on the inside of the lid. Divide dough in half. Flatten one dough half evenly into the floured rectangle. Turn it over to remove dough. Place dough on a clean surface. Okay, so good. So you don't actually cut it in there. But let me do this. So I'm going to come back back and we'll get that next step ready. Okay. I am not going to be gentle with the flour. Because this is sticky. But it does say if the dough sticks to the cookie cutter, add flour. Add more flour. Okay, so this needs to spread out on that. What do you think? Yeah, let me use this. Let's see. Just put that in there. Then do this. It's like not not doing what I wanted to do. I'm, I'm not going to worry about too much flour because at this point with the sticky dough. There we go. There we go. That's what I want. I'm going to take this in my hands. That's what I'm going to do. Roll it up and then flatten it in here. Okay. It already is too sticky. So I'm going to put some flour on the top. And I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm just going to, I'm going to do this instead.
It's like a pizza dough. I guess from my past experiences, I've learned my lessons about this kind of dough. I will say, I had a comment from one of my, a new watcher, who had just stumbled upon an Easy Bake video and they enjoyed it. I said, really, there's 7,000 videos to enjoy. Plus, and they were shocked. And then I'm thinking, you know, okay, flip over and see if it comes out. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna leave it. I think I could save that, ooh, yes. Plenty of flour. Okay, now I think I'll be good with the cookie cutter. All right, so it says use the cookie cutter to cut the dough into rectangle strips. Here we go. One. So I'm just trying to say that I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here that all of the videos I have done for the Easy Bake there are tons, and all of the kits that I've done over the years. That's a monumental monumental task financially to find them all and then to go through all the steps and all the food that I've used over the last 10 11 years just I don't know it's mind-boggling to me and I'm the one that did it I don't think uh, I don't know I'm gonna say I don't know if it'll ever be attempted I don't know if anybody has that vision or passion to do that and then to find all these mixes when some of these I've spent Years like this set. I didn't even know it existed and that's after 10 or 11 years. I didn't know that this one was out there Now I've seen it since because now I'm more in tune to it. All right, so that's what they look like I mean just think of all the different sets I have hundreds They should have made it so it just cut evenly. Okay, so that doesn't look like one. We'll take this. We'll do it with this. And I'm not boasting in any way. Trust me. You know, that's the last thing I would do. I have to ponder and think about all of it and what I'm going to do with it all. I mean, I have almost every Easy Bay mix ever created. What am I going to do with it? I guess that is the pondering question. What am I going to do with it all? I have to sell it, I guess. <laughs> or donate it to a museum or something. I don't know if they'd want it. I mean, it is probably one of the largest collections of food maker sets. Some of them very rare. Some I've only seen one of. Remember now. There is one oven I still can't find. And last year or the year before, it came up on eBay in the original box. And I, I just went for broke. I, I put in $250 as a bid. And it got outbid. That's how it's called the Lunar Louie. If you got a Lunar Louie in the box, it's a really cool like space looking oven and it's yellow this time so if you ever heard of Lunar Louie so I didn't say it because I'll probably have to bid against somebody out there okay oh come on Lunar Louie okay we could save it Probably almost easier just to do it out of that thing. Just make a rectangle shape. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this production level now. Those two are weak. Weak. Here, let's bring it down here so you can see the squishing. So it's in there pretty good. So fortunately they have these little holes on the top and then I was able to push and extricate. Okay, these will be nice. These are perfect. 
So in two, in 10 years, 11 years, eight years, wherever, how long I've been looking, I've only seen two lunar loonies come up, lunar louis. And both went in over $250. If you have one out there, please, let me borrow it. I'll give it back. I just want to make the video. That's my only concern. So yeah, I have tons of sets. And a few more you haven't even seen. Okay, so there's my sad looking. Maybe when they bake, they'll puff up and do something. All right, let me clean up, get this here. Let me get a couple trays, grease them, and we will start baking. Okay, so getting the pans ready. It shows two on a pan, so. One. Oh, that one looks good. Two, they've stiffened up a little bit. Ooh, this one looks really good. Three. And this one looks good. Four. All right, now I'm having a little issue with the oven. For some reason, it did not heat up. It might have been the power cord uh, that it's connected to. So I will uh, get this in the oven when it is heated up. Okay, major plan change. I'm on the other side. One, because it's two ovens and I can bake all these quicker. And two, because that other oven was not heating up correctly. I'll have to research that. So let me get these both in. They're not in for long. This one here will bake quicker for sure. Well, we'll see. This one actually was baking quicker than this one the last time. All right. All right, let me give it five to six minutes. All right, the oven on the right is actually steaming. So let's get that one out. It's not even done with time. I set it for five minutes, so wow. Look at that. Okay, so I've got me some nice burnt cookies. It was only four and a half minutes. Let's see these here. Let's see. Ooh, okay, so these look like they worked. Yes, they are flat and brown on the bottom. See, that was the time. What is going on? All right, let's set up another batch. Okay, here we go. One, two. I think I'm gonna do uh, three minutes on that oven. That one went fast. All right, let's get that up there. One there, one there. Three minutes. I have one, two, three, four, five more. So we should have plenty to frost. All right, now, my talking. All right, three minutes, go. I'll be back. Okay, I had plenty of pans, so I'm just gonna get these prepped. They're still in the oven. It has not been even three minutes. They seem to hold together pretty good. Here, let's get this long one in here. Ooh, almost stayed together. All right, those are the next two ready to go in. 53 seconds, so it's only been two minutes. I'm gonna check. I don't know if something's going on with all my ovens. Let's see. And it's already starting to look like, yeah, I just think maybe the sugar cookie mix is probably not doing too hot. I'll still be able to decorate those. All right, let me let this finish. Ooh, almost dropped it. It's stuck to my mitt. Okay, we'll see. Another... 20 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna take that one out. It's just safer to do it. Now, now like I said, did I mention, yeah, this is not the way to take these out, but this is how I did it with the mini food side of things. Just because the original grabber that came with this oven, much harder to work with. Okay, that was another 20 seconds. All right, let's get this one out. Now I snuck in Oh, look at that. This is going to be a problem. I think just that mix, the original mix. I'm going to still decorate them. Okay, so let's close that up. I'm not going to use that oven anymore. I'm going to do this. I had a triple in here just for, just to see. Okay, stop, stop, stop. So I'm going to do three and a half minutes. Start. We shall see. Okay, it's one minute, so it's been two and a half. I think it's best just to check what we have. Okay, not ready. You can't see it, but I can, so I'll let it go that last minute. Okay, let's get this one out. So it's uh, slightly disheartening. I don't know if it's the actual mix 
or those uh, little strawberry things. Let's go this way. It's stuck the last time. Okay, so this is what we're getting. This is what we're ending up with. It's almost like the cookie's separating, so... I mean, I do have another mix. A newer mix. But the whole idea is for me to try the older one. But let me do this. I could still attempt to see what the issue is. Right? That's what we're here for. All right, let's uh, stop, start. Okay, I'll let that one go. Let me head over back to the other side. Okay, so I just grabbed a fresher sugar cookie mix. Sugar cookie, newer, different color packaging. And then let me just see how they want you to mix it. I'm gonna put in the strawberry again. Let's see, okay, sugar cookies. Add three quarters of a teaspoon in water. Okay. A little different. See that? Oh, that timer's going to go off. Don't be alarmed. I'm kind of trying to move quick here. Okay. Let's get this smushed down. Let's see. It smells better. Let me just get these in here. The timer's going to go off. So, one and two okay i'll come back and mix that let me get the little lid and we're gonna do this one more time okay now we've gone to a whole new level let's just see what happens here three quarters of a teaspoon i could have swore the other one was a teaspoon oh they don't have three quarters so i gotta do it the odd way one two three I believe this one, the other one was from 1999. This one's now moved up. It's not new, new, it's like 2004. 2000 something, so it's newer. You know, that doesn't even look like it's enough. Water. Hmm. I don't know. What's going on with this video? The oven didn't work. Eh, we'll just keep going. Forge ahead. Don't give up. Don't give up. Making cookies, don't give up. Okay, well, it's starting to form. That's better. Okay, I'm not going to add water. I'm going to do what they say, but I'm going to get the fingers in there to see if we lump. Okay, we lump. We got the lump. Okay, so let me just get this to make it so that I can split this in half. Okay, let's bring this back in here. Okay, we're challenging ourselves again. Remember, using the fingers as opposed to pressing with something worked out much better. Okay, let's get this into a lumpy, lumpy ball. I will need to get the little cutter piece. I think it's in my sink. But that's okay. Let's get this spread out. It's definitely drier, so maybe that's going to help. Not as sticky. Right? Sticky, no good. We don't want sticky. So you're all probably saying to yourselves, no, don't want sticky. Maybe that's why they spread so funny. I've never seen, it's almost like they separated, like it's an old, since it's an old mix, maybe. I feel being drier, it's going to pop out of this easier, but... Don't hold your breath on that. 
Here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to plop this one out. Hopefully. Let's see. Plop, plop, plop. Plop, plop, plop. Okay, let's just flip it. Let's do this. Smash. Look at that. Okay, so let me get the second one. You know, if you run into issues like this, you just got to forge ahead. I can't explain it. I'm using old mixes for a reason. I could have got all new colored frosting, all new stuff, but that defeats the purpose of using something from 2000 and 1999, whatever. This dough actually looks better. Okay, so I got to get all those trays clean now. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back, get the cutter. I'm going to bring the tray over, the trays over, so you can see how all of my little nuggets of goodness came out. We'll see. Okay, so it is a sight for sure. Uh... They seem to, they come out okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe the tray. And then I'll spray it since they're already dirty. I'm not going to wash them. Now there's one to spray. Look at those. That was in the... <laughs> the one oven. Mm, they look like those chocolate chip uh, no butter cookies or those really flat... I don't know what they call those. I've seen them. One, two. Hmm. So many tasty treats to chew from. I'm chew, chew from, not chew. I'm definitely not gonna chew those. All right. So here we go. Doing the best we can here. I'll probably spare you all of the baking. I'll go in and I'll bake one set with you, so we can see, and then. If it doesn't work, then we just know it's something go something else is going on here. But I think overall, these these do not look appetizing. They do not look like the box. Look at the box. They look so perfectly shaped, like someone in a test kitchen who was a professional baker made those. Mm, did I say that? All right. Uh, you didn't hear me say that. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Wow, look at all the trays. I guess there's one good reason, uh, one good thing having all of the trays is that I can, uh, got a lot more to wash. They just look better. They seem like they're better shaped. Okay, I tell you what, I'm going to take that off to the side there, I'll leave that. You know, I wonder, maybe it's the Pam, I don't know. What do you think? Do you have any opinions? Get the tapper in there. Two. I almost think, too, they just seem kind of thin compared to the packaging, you know? Ooh, look at that one. Oh. That one looks so good. I'm going to try to rebuild that one. Okay. Did I do it the wrong way? Yes, I did. Okay. You will have to reconstitute back in the oven. Uh, I've used uh, maybe five cutting boards already today. <laughs> okay, so i got some really nice looking ones here. Happy with that. Here's what I'm going to do, though. 
I'm gonna finish these two. Look at that. Okay, so I think we got it this time. Let me cut it this way. That's the way I'm supposed to cut it, but you know what I'm saying. Come on, buddy. Work from here. Ooh, I don't have a handy tool. Don't give up. Oh, it's okay. That one, I could save. All right. Whew. What a day. There, can't even notice. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna leave those as spares. Clean this one up a little bit. Maybe just reshaping that one a little bit. Okay, now I have one, two, three, four, five pans. Let's head over to the oven and see how it goes. Okay, first tray in and I'll do four minutes. Well, let me do three minutes because it's baking really hot. Okay, three and a half minutes. What do you think? I don't know. Ooh, three and a half minutes, good. Okay, so they held their shape. So it was just that mix, I think, was the issue. Um, so now we know, look, this is kind of what they're supposed to look like. Very nice. Next batch. I'm going to bake the rest of these. So it'll be a while before you won't see any of it, but I will come back. Three, six, nine, two, another 15 minutes of baking. All right, I'll be back. Okay, 17 seconds. I thought I'd just check in with you. You know, I can't let check in for some reason. Washing and cleaning, and these are starting to look uh, pretty good. All right, so there's two more batches to do, so not much longer. And I will, uh, oops, see, there you go. When I see smoking, that's when I stop it. Now I've cut the time down even more, so we'll see. All right, last batch going in. Everything appears to do, um, doing much better. All right, so I'll be back now. Let's go start making the frost. Okay, so that was the last batch, uh, and that was the batch before it. So uh, even though I cut times down, still, they came out like the original ones. Not much different, so I don't know. Is it the mix? Is it the ovens? Is it the spray? I do have some really good ones, so those, I would say, are my least favorite. And then down here, I have some really nice looking ones, so ooh, they came right off. Not burnt, no crispy edges, so I have no, uh, no idea. But again, I have a lot to work with. Okay, lots to clean yet. So, a couple things. Uh, I took a moment just to stop and relax and, uh, you know, little break. This thing is actually the storage tray as well. So you put that there. I want you to put your extra frosting there and fill this up with your little nuggets of joy. Here we go. Both frostings. Gonna mix them both so I can do my fancy decorating. Let me grab some scissors, which I had in the back soaking so they were clean. And then here we go. This is the blue frosting. Okay, I've never done blue frosting. And it looks cool already. Look at that. Nice blue frosting. And now purple frosting. So going back to the beginning, I was a little confused on the sugars. Ooh, look at that. Pretty colors. Okay, so it says, for the frosting, add three quarters of water. Any other tidbits? For thinner frosting, stir in droplets to water consistency. Okay, let's get this out of the way. We don't need this. I may do like a final frosting presentation and put it in there. Because it says you could take it wherever you go, yes. Alright, so three quarters, which is one teaspoon of warm water. Let's get that in there. Warm water. One. Two. I'll just mix this one first. That one's just going to have to sit. Then I'll get that one going and I'll just go back and forth. Okay, let's get just get this one started so we don't get any lumpies in the purple. Of 
Remember that spoon is also the spreading spatula, they call it. Okay. Looking good. So with all of the little issues, nuances, oven issues, cookie issues, you gotta take a second, stop, think, say, all right, we'll get through it, we'll figure it out, it's okay. All right, nice looking frosting. Pretty colors, I've never done blue or purple. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna use my lid as my little storage. Now they don't have any rhyme or reason here. It's squiggly, it's just the tips. So let's do some of that. Let's get the little spoon out of the warm water. They want you to use this as your spreader. So let me just take a little bit. I will do, let me do one of the not so pretty cookie ends. I'll just like that. There is cookie number one. Let's just set that in there. And then let's do a blue one like that. So let me get a paper towel here. Actually, let me get my white tray. This tray here because it's nice and long. So I can just put them on like that. So a little blue. And let me get another one of these funky looking ones. I want to save. Now I could probably, let's see, just break this off like this and make it look prettier. Look at that. Trim. Don't forget to trim your Pop-Tarts. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Now dare we get a little fancier. Let's cover one completely in purple. I'll put this on here. I will take this and I will clean it. And I will spread the purple. It almost looks like they used a piping bag on the pictures because they have perfectly rounded lines. I would think that would be the only way to achieve that. It does not say to do that. Spread frosting snack sticks with a spreader spoon. To decorate your creations you can drizzle thinner frosting in a different color over snack sticks that you've already frosted. Ooh. So drizzling would mean I have to add a little extra water. Let's do it to the blue. Just in the little corner. A couple little drops here. And we'll put that as the thinner frosting. Drizzle. Actually, I'm going to put this in a little bowl. Let me grab a little bowl. Okay. And then make that a little thinner, even more. A little water. A little water. Okay. That looks like drizzling. Ooh, camera change. This is where I say, and you say, hey, change the angle. At least that's what I feel like people say to me as I'm doing something. So that's why I make the change usually. And right at that point where I feel like, hey, would you rather see a different angle? Okay, drizzle. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. I like that one. It's called the Spotted Pop Tart Stick. While we're there, let me do, I'll tell you what, let's just get these. This is starting to be overwhelming to me with all the stuff on there. Mm -hmm. My countertop is clean. My countertop is always clean. 
I cleaned it before, during, and after the videos. Okay, so let's take this one here. Let's do an all blue. Now that I have this little extra tool. All right, so here we go, blue. Augustus Blue. I like, all right. Let's just see if we can add some purple. It's not easy to do, I'll tell you that. There's some stripes. Okay, look at that. Triple stripe. Okay, I got more to do. More to do. I do want to bring the camera up just a little. You've had your extreme close-up. Now let's do a half and halfer, we'll call it. Oh, by the way, you could see, I don't know if you could see it on this one. You could see the strawberry. This half. Look, the little strawberry striations. Yeah. Sometimes I'm too close to the camera. <laughs> okay, that's a Habsy. Okay, let me do this now because they wanted the frosting in here. So I'm going to fill it up. Of course, the picture shows it all the way to the rim, but that's not going to happen. That will definitely not happen. And I know, I don't I don't ever believe what's on the box. I just point it out for fun. Like, yeah, okay. Are you telling us the truth? Is that what we're gonna get? Nope. That is not what you're gonna get. Okay, that's that. Then you put your little snack sticks in here. Okay. And then you take your little spoon. And it goes across the table, like that. My fingers have now turned blue. And then you would take your snack, you know, take it on the go. So here I go. I'm going to travel with my Pop-Tart case. I think that's it for now. How are these looking? They're colorful. And I'm trying to move them without dirtying the whole plate, but no can do. All right, so that is my snack. So let me pretend now. Okay, I'm on the go. I got to eat. So let me make sure I get one of the newer ones. Okay, so you take your little cookie out. I think this one. And then you dip it in your frosting. And then you snack. It's almost like a little Lunchables, you know what I mean? Mmm, flavor's okay. Let me do a little purple. So it's on the go. Okay. It's all right. Actually, a little worried there for a second. Take an extreme close-up. While I wipe my hands with some water and see if I can get some of that blue out of there. Okay, all right. How do I recap this video? I really don't know. I had oven issues. I had reading issues. I had cookie baking issues, uh, a lot of stuff in the background was bothering me, but I think overall it came out pretty good. And I'm happy with the results. Let's, I want to taste another one off the tray because those are all good ones. I probably should just for history and never coming back to this set again, take one of the ones from the 90s. Here we go. Mm. It's actually okay, and it's really crispy, and I like it. Mm. All right, so I guess uh, not as bad as I thought. We did it. Took a while. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. All right, let me eat the spotted one. Okay, here we go. Bite of the spotted one. Really crispy. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. The Pop Starts, Pop Starts, Pop Tarts.
snack sticks. Talk to me in the comments. Ask me questions. And if you can, I always put a link in the uh, comment section to a playlist. And I just recently messaged it. Can you watch those videos? Let's click the playlist. Whether you're there, I mean, I mean, whether because you're there, hanging out, maybe you're doing the laundry, and just let that play. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.